You're a teacher. You are responsible for facilitating learning and growth for all of your students. This video demonstrates a method for producing individualized feedback for students to review and then hold formative reflection discussions one-on-one -on -one with you. We will do so with Google Forms Sheets and the Autocrat extension. This is the second in this series based on this data hierarchy model for schools. You should subscribe and enable notifications to make sure you benefit from the entire series. All of the videos are available through links in the description. First things first though, we need a rubric. Then we create a student form for formative self-reflection. There's a forms tutorial among others to take you further at the end of this video. We make a copy of our first form and then an identical teacher version. Let's take a look at the immediate areas of focus for success. Use a sliding scale for the original student form, zero for not at all, and an even number to end. I like to use zero to six. That way you don't get anyone choosing the very middle. They have to make a stand. Make an exact copy as a teacher version. Place a T in front of every question. This makes it possible to import all of the comparative data into the same Google Doc template for students later. Most importantly, do your assessments in exactly the same order as the student input fields, or rows. If you ever do this with collaborative groups, have the group names as drop-downs so they match exactly and you only have to do it once. Once you have the student responses, we must undertake ours in exactly the same order. Make sure you have the Autocrat extension installed in Chrome to use on your spreadsheet. This next step may seem a little scary if you've not used Mail Merge before, but I assure you, once you use it, you will see that it is quite manageable. First, make a document based on your spreadsheet headers. You might notice use of chevrons here, two opening and two closing. This will import a student's name right here for every line in the spreadsheet that is produced by the form. Let's take a look over here. Here we have our questions. Here we have our responses. If I go over here, it automatically opens up in a spreadsheet. Each one of these headings here, you see this one says name. Since I put name in the chevrons, in the document, it'll put in one document for every line here. Student one will have their name then show up and present as student one's self-reflection versus teacher assessment. You can make this however you like. This is how I've made mine. Again, student's name will come here because it's in the chevrons and the teacher assessment will come on over here. Over here, I've got opening chevrons and closing chevrons. This is exactly the same text as the first heading that I want to have data imported for. Once again, when I run Autocrat, the student answer will go here. My answer will go here from the exact duplicate that I made and filled in in exactly the same order. So as you can see, once the students get this information, they can see how they've done highlighted against how I thought they've done. This lets them see whether or not they think they've done better or worse than I thought they did. Because it's a rubric, it should be very close. When there is a big problem, it'll become very obvious. They can write down the reflections, and then after we've had a discussion, they can write something down here. Again, feedback is most effective if they can work on it immediately. Once we have done so for both the student and teacher responses, we are ready to transfer data from one form to the other. This is why we must undertake our assessment in exactly the same order. This is the most crucial step. Okay, so in the student version, I've produced a spreadsheet. In the teacher version, I have also produced a spreadsheet. You can see here in the teacher version, it's got the open brackets, capital T, close brackets. That is how, when we put that data in the same spreadsheet, we can get it in the same document. So we start with the student document. I see it's student one, student two, all of the same fields. Over here, I see it's also student one, student two, all the way down, so it matches perfectly. What I need to do is grab all of this data, including the headers. In fact, we can just grab, in this case, all of the headers. Command C to copy. Go to the teacher version, and at the end, where it ends, this is the last one, you can see that's empty. Click on this, Command V, pastes it all in. So now it's ready to go. It has all of the student's reflections as well as mine. They match up. For student one, what I thought, and for student one, what they thought. That is how this presents in such a manner that it is very effective for reflection, helping your students learn how to use rubrics better and improve their work through formative reflection. 
Okay, so you've already set up the extension Autocrat in your Google Drive. So now you can go over here. You can see this is the correct one because I have the T's in here. If I scroll this way, I see I get over here to where they don't have them. So I have both the teacher assessment and the exact same line has the assessment that the students did themselves based on the rubric. Over here in add-ons, I go to Autocrat and I open it. No merge job set up yet, perfect. Go to new job. Next, so from my drive, I'm gonna choose the names self-reflection versus teacher assessment results that I've already shared with you. Next, basically you're just gonna keep going next, next, next. Now, form responses one is correct. If I had made a separate sheet in here, duplicated it in order to keep this data pristine, I would have to choose which sheet I wanted to make it from. In this case, we don't have to worry about that. The header row is the first one, and the first data row is the second one. You can scroll through and see that they all match. Oh, some of them don't. Used alignment, so I need to find that. Used alignment, make sure they're all filled in. Next, file name. Name, Google Docs, multiple output mode is classic mode. That's what we want. Every single line becomes a document. Single output mode, we'll put them all in one long document and you can automatically add page breaks or you can do it as single ones. Next, choose the folder. I will choose discussions, misspelled. Next, basically all you're doing is going through, ignore this, ignore this, if you want to have it sent out immediately, you can share it out if you have emails. If you decide to send it out immediately, down here, you put in open chevrons email. This would have to be one of the header columns with students' emails in it. You can then type a little message. Next, I save it, email subject missing. So it's some little bit intuitive for you here. Save it. Once it's done, I run it. I'm not gonna do it in this case. On the last column of every line, you'll find a link so you can find that exact document. I'm not gonna run that today, but that's how it works. And it's not all that challenging as long as you're patient. We're now ready to have students review the documents and set up our one-on-one -on -one discussions. It is best to do so at the start of class in which students can act on this feedback immediately. Again, please check out related videos and make sure you sign up for subscribing to this series as well as notifications. The world is a